what we're going to try to achieve is to take our original photograph and turn it into sort of like a posturize effect. So the way that you use the posturize effect or to get the posturize effect is up in your image uh, menu. Go down to adjustments and then posturize. Okay. So image, adjustments, and posturize. Now, depending on your skin tone, you either want to go a little bit down in the levels or up in the levels. Okay. So I would say between maybe four and nine is what you should be looking for. Don't worry if the image looks bad to you. What you're really using this for is to define where's my highlights and where's my shadows, right? The main ones that you want to uh, use to create that sort of mold of your face, okay? I'm just gonna drag my slider up a bit, maybe six or seven. All right, so six kind of works okay. I could see a highlight for the forehead, one for the cheekbones, the chin, and in the ears. Okay? All these other colors that I don't identify as a highlight or a shadow, that's my mid-tone color. Okay? So when I start drawing this out, I'm actually going to start tracing or drawing with my pen tool inside the hairline. And once the skin that is exposed to the background appears or I get to that point, I'm just going to trace right along that edge and come right inside of the neckline where the shirt is, back around the edge of the skin and close off the shape. Then I'm just going to start drawing all my highlights and then draw all my shadows. Okay? So take a few minutes, just adjust your posturize effect, see if you can identify where those highlights and shadows fall. And then what you're going to do is save your PSD file and we're going to create our Illustrator document, place in our original photograph and then place in the posturize effect right on top of it. Mm -hmm.